Welcome back to the Kettleers Starting Nine. I'm Lily Butler, joined alongside Tyler Danberg and Joe Pratt back here at Lowell Park after a road victory against the YD Red Sox, eight to six. Lot to unpack here. We had a grand slam from Carrico, first home run of the regular season. Five straight scoreless innings pitched by Joe Whitman with nine strikeouts. Lots of fun stuff. Joe, what was your key to the game yesterday and what stood out to you? I mean, obviously the start from Whitman, you can't not recognize that. I mean, five scoreless, nine strikeouts, just saw his command with multiple different pitches. That fastball saw that change up at times. Obviously the slider, eight of those strikeouts were swinging. So a lot of big swing and misses there for Whitman. And then tough go of it for the bullpen, but they wound up. It ended up being enough for them to secure the win, and the offense really picked it up as well. Yeah, and then tonight, Isaiah Coupe is going to start on the mound for the Kettleers. Now, Coupe matched up with the starter for the Wareham Gateman already. Tyler, what do you know about that? Yeah, Lily, I mean, Isaiah Coupe and Mark Manfredi, this isn't the first time that they're going to square off in 2023. you got to go back to March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. On a 29-degree evening in Columbus, Ohio, Mark Manfredi for Dayton and Isaiah Coupe for Ohio State duked it out on the mound in a 7-2 Buckeyes win. Isaiah Coupe tossed seven innings, got the win in that one. Mark Manfredi went six innings. He gave up five runs and earned the loss, but it was a really good pitcher's duel for most of that game in which the Buckeyes won by five, and they would end up sweeping the Flyers in two games, but... The weather looks to be a little bit better today than it did back in mid-March. Yeah, and then lots of other exciting things happening on the other side of the mound. We have a great offense. Of course, the Michael Carrico Grand Slam. I actually spoke with him earlier, so we'll go ahead and send it on to that interview, and we'll be back for the Kettleers starting nine. Down here with Michael Carrico of the Katuit Kettleers. Michael, last night, first home run of the regular season and a grand slam at that. What was going through your mind as you stepped up to the plate and then swinging at the first pitch? Where do you like to see the ball? Yeah, so that at bat, um, he had either walked the bases loaded or hit a couple batters. Um, so he was a little wild with the fastball. So I was just sitting fastball in one spot and I happened to get it. Um, and I just swung and hit it out. And then returning to the dugout, what was the energy like and how did you feel? Yeah, no, I mean, we were kind of struggling offensively at that point, so I think the energy really picked up um, at that point, so I think it was just really good to get the momentum going at that point in the game. Coming off of a performance like that into today's game, describe your confidence heading into game two tonight. Yeah, you know, I, mean, I feel like I saw the ball really well yesterday, um, and so I think right now I'm really confident. Um, there's another lefty on the mound, so obviously as a left-handed hitter, it's a little bit more tough, but um, I'm still very confident, and uh, I think we're going to get another win tonight. Yep, and then on the roster, there's a good mix of newcomers and returners. A lot of guys come to the Cape never meeting any of the guys beforehand. Describe the cohesiveness of the team so far. Yeah, I know. I mean, a bunch of guys got here super early, so I think that really helped with the team chemistry. Um, so I think as of last night, kind of showed a little bit. We got out early, um, and I think that just goes to show how much team chemistry we have right now. All right, thank you, Michael. And now back to the starting nine. All right, and now looking into today's games, Joe, what's going to be your key to the game tonight? Well, we saw it last night. Kettleers score the first run of the game, and Wareham, they've given up double-digit scoring in their first two games of the season this year, and so it's going to be important for that offense to jump out, get a good start early, and good things will happen, especially with this team. We saw it last night, scoring first, getting the win, so they'll be looking to do that again. Yeah, and Tyler, what are you looking at tonight? Kind of the same thing as Joe, the plate discipline, getting on base via the walk and the free pass. Yesterday against the YD Red Sox, the Kettleers drew seven walks. They also got hit by a few pitches as well. And, of course, the more guys you get on base, the more chances to play that Kettleers wiffle ball style of baseball like Mike Roberts always talks about, like he said on the pregame show. Yeah, you guys just talked to Roberts a couple seconds ago. We'll send it on over to that interview, and that'll be all for the Kettleers starting nine. We're here with Mike Roberts and Tyler Danberg, myself, Joe Pratt, ahead of game two against the Wareham Gateman today from Lowell Park. And coach, 8-6 win last night in game one, a good offensive start, and then a rough eighth inning. Just your thoughts on the first win of the year. Well, it's a win's a win. It, you know, to me, it, it really doesn't make a difference to score. We'll come back and you know talk about that the next day. But I was real pleased how competitive we were, and you know we jumped out and they came back, and uh, that's the way the game's supposed to be played. And uh, but in the end, uh, we got a big home run in the ninth inning that gave us a two-run lead, and and then Noah closed it out. So I was very pleased with our opening game. Joe Whitman 
five scoreless innings, nine strikeouts to no walk. How would you evaluate his performance yesterday? Well, I think anybody at the ballpark would say that was a professional performance. You know, he, he threw strikes, as you just said, no walks. Uh, when you don't walk people, uh, you got a good chance to win. And, uh, you know, Joe's really matured uh, in his approach on the mound from the time he was here last year and he transferred from Purdue to Kent State. Uh, and I, I've complimented him on on the areas that he's improved and whoever helped him, a pitching coach or the head coach at Kent State, did a wonderful job. And then today, starting pitcher Isaiah Coupe, left-hander at Ohio State, returner again this year. And no starts last summer, but in the starting role this summer, just what have you seen from him? Well, um, I've seen him when he walked through the gate. That's about it, to be honest with you. I didn't see his bullpen, and I normally see most of the players before we place them out there. But uh, Isaiah is just a wonderful young man like Joe. And uh, no matter what he does, I'm thrilled for him to be going out there for the Cataliers today and, and starting a couple times here before he goes to the combine, and then he'll be back to start again. So um, uh, he's just a, a great competitor, and I, I think you'll see a very good outing. Uh, again, when you get to the Cape League, it's a lot different than pitching collegiately with metal bats. And uh, so I just kind of wait. I've seen video of him in the spring, but I'll just kind of wait and see what we get today. Quinn McDaniel out of Maine and then Cannon Peebles out of NC State. They're going to make their first starts of the Cape League season. More recent additions as well for your squad. What have you seen from them leading up to this game? Well, I like their athleticism, and they're both what I call grassroots baseball players, kind of old-fashioned baseball players, a little bit of wiffle ball in there. And um, I really have enjoyed just watching them practice. And um, only been here a couple of days, but if you look at how they did this spring, particularly offensively, they did very well for their schools. Um, Peebles has not caught much in a couple of months, and so I'm excited to watch him catch. I think he's also excited to catch. Um, so I'm looking forward to the performance, and I think you saw yesterday in the ninth inning where McDaniel came in and made a heck of a play on a ball bouncing over Noah. Short hopped him and threw the runner out at first base for the first out in the bottom of the ninth inning, which showed his athleticism. So I'm looking forward to those young men being in the lineup today. All right, thank you, Coach. That's going to do it for us. Now let's send it back to the Kettleers starting nine. That's going to do it for this pregame show, the Kettleers starting nine, sending it on up to the booth for the broadcast, signing off from Lowell Park. I'm Willie Butler, joined alongside Tyler Danberg and Joe Pratt.